Hi, my name is Phil. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Maze Patrol Tips and Tricks. In this video series, I'm going to show you everything I've learned in my 24 years of running Mazex. From programming to setting it up, and all the little tricks I've learned along the way that, are, that you can't find in the programming manuals. So let's get started on our next workpiece. In this video, we're going to learn about threading, specifically threading the OD of a workpiece. It's going to be a short video. We're facing the part, turning it, and threading it. And then I'll also show you how to rerun a thread if it's not to size. So let's get started. All right, here's our, our next demo piece. This is going to be a threading demonstration. We're going to face it, turn the outside, and thread it with a 3 inch 8 thread. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is push the left button, go to program, program file, and we're going to select a work number that is not listed here. We're going to choose work number 200. So go back to program, work number, 200 input, if this is a new program, push the program button. Mazatrol or EIA? We're going with Mazatrol. Workpiece material, aluminum. Maximum outside diameter of workpiece is 3.25 inches. Inner diameter of workpiece is zero. Workpiece length is three inches. Max spindle RPM limit is 2,000 RPM. Finish allowance on X is 10 thousandths. Finish allowance on Z is 5 thousandths. And the stock removal of the face. This part is almost to length, so I'm only taking off 5 thousandths off the length. So 0 0.005 input. Next thing we're going to do is turn on the coolant. So push the three arrows. M code, coolant on. Down arrow. Now we're going to face the edge of the part, so we'll push edge. We're going to auto-populate the feeds and speeds again. And because we only have five thousandths coming off, we're only going to use the finish tool. So we're going to finish it with tool 4, offset 1. Starting point on X is 3.25. Starting point on Z is 0.005. Final point on X and final point on Z are zero. Surface roughness is seven, down arrow. Now we're going to turn the diameter and put a hundred thousandths chamfer on the part. And we're gonna start with a linear motion. So with, starting with bar stock on the outside of the part. Cutting point on X is 3.25. Cutting point on Z is zero. Surface speed for rough cut. We're gonna auto populate the feeds and speeds again. Roughing tool, we're gonna rough it with tool four, offset one. Finish it, I wanna finish it with tool number two, offset one, which is a 35 degree diamond. So first thing we're gonna do is do a linear Starting corner is 100 thousandths. Final point on X. This is a three inch eight thread, but the OD is not actually three inches like I made on the print. It's actually around 10 thousandths smaller than that, so it doesn't have very sharp peaks on the thread. So 2.990, and the final point on Z is two inches back and it's got 125 thousandths radius at the corner. So two inches, final corner, radius, 0.125, input, surface roughness is seven, down arrow, and now we're gonna break the corner at the top. So linear, starting corner, 0 0.005, final point on X is 3.25, Final point on Z is two inches plus five thousandths plus two thousandths to roll that insert up over the chamfer. 2.007. Input, seven, down arrow, shape in. 
now let's do figure check. So we have the face and the OD done at this point. So I'm going to save this image and I want to blow it up. So push scale, move the cursor up to the center of the screen and then type in a smaller number like 0.5 input and now here's the chamfer diameter and the radius at the back so we'll go back to program now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to thread this outside of the part with the three inch eight thread so push thread outside chamfering 60 degrees, 45, or no. So what this is saying is the method that the tool pulls out of the thread at this back corner, if it had a thread relief in here, then we would say zero for no, and it would thread the part and dwell for a revolution and then pull out. But because we don't have a thread relief called in, I want to pull the thread out and not leave a groove. So they have two ways to do that. Either a 60 degree, which comes out quickly, or a 45, which comes out a little slower. I'm going to choose number two for the 60, so it pulls out fast. Thread lead. This is an eight thread per inch thread. So one divided by eight is 0.125. And the angle of the thread, this is the angle that the machine is going to plunge in when it cuts the thread. This doesn't have anything to do with the type of thread we're machining as much. If we push angle zero, it's going to feed straight down on every pass and it's going to take equal amounts off of both sides of the threading tool because it's just going to plunge straight down on every pass. If we put angle of thread at 60, then it's going to feed down the flank of one side of the thread and have all the wear on the left side. If we put 30, then that is a modified infeed angle, and it would take some here and most of it on the left side. Most of the time, 60 is a good number. Um, just depends on how you feel like threading it. Some materials like it for hard materials going straight in protects the insert better. Number of entrances, this is usually going to be a single start thread. Uh, we can actually do a multi start thread just by typing in a different number in here. Um, again, most of the time we're just going to put one for a single start thread. Thread height, this is based on the thread lead of 125. So if we push the auto button, it auto populates the thread height, the number of cut passes, and the surface speed the tool is going to run at, and the depth of the first cut. So now we need to select the tool number, go to the tool data, and we're going to choose the threader that's in the machine. So go back to program. Tool number three, input, offset one. So now it's asking us a starting point on X. Whenever we're doing OD threads or ID threads, the starting point on X is the major diameter of the thread. So in this case, it's a three inch diameter thread. Starting point on Z is zero. Final point on X, if we're gonna do a tapered thread like a pipe thread, then this would be a bigger value than we started with so it ramps up. Most of the time, we're going to have the exact same 
number as the start, so it has a parallel thread. So final point on X is three, and the final point on Z is 1.8 inches to the top of the part. So 1.8, and now it brings us a second line, so we can actually thread here and then thread up on an angle but most of the time, probably 99% of the time, we're not going to need this second uh, set of numbers. So we push the shape end button. And end. So now right button, figure check. And there's our thread. So now let's go to the left button. Go to program. Go to program check and then press check continue to check the tool path. So it finished the face with tool four, roughing it with tool four. Now it's finishing it with tool two, tool path erase, and now it's threading the part. So one thing to note, it doesn't actually show that 60 degree pullout in the graphics when it's threading it. But when it's actually running, it'll come in here and then it pulls out very quickly. So toolpath of race. So now at this point, we're ready to set the work shift. So let's put the part in the jaws and get the work shift set. All right, now we have to set the work shift. So come over here to handle. See? And touch off the face of the part. So now we're gonna go left button, program, Program file. We're going to arrow down to work number 200. Push Z offset teach. 0 0.005 input. Now we go to the left button. Go to position. Auto. Work number 200. And the offset, it's at 0 0.0049 in front of our Z. I mentioned this in an earlier video. Sometimes it's exactly what you type in, and sometimes it's one-tenth smaller. I think it's a rounding error, but for one-tenth, it's no big deal. Anyway, so let's go to the trace screen. And there's our turning tool on the part. So let's zoom this out a little bit so we can see more of the tool. So scale, one, input, shape. So now we can see the turning tool. And let's go ahead and run this part. So we're in auto, turn on the coolant, and let's hit cycle start. Taking the five thousandths off the face.
there's tool two finishing the part. This is a 35 degree diamond that is going in the MO3 direction, which is why you cannot see the insert on the screen. It changed chuck or spindle direction. And now comes the threading tool. And we're done threading the part. One minute, 36 seconds. All right, we just got done threading the part, but the thread is not to size yet. We need to dial in the, the wear. So let's do that now. All right, so we're gonna rerun this thread. So we need to go to the tool set button, come down here to tool three. It already has a minus 11 thousandths in the wear, but we let's say we need to take off another 5 thousandths. So minus 0 0.005 input, and then, all right, and then on the program layout screen, we're going to rerun process F4, so finish 4, trace, so we go into single process, process number finish 4 input, and that's just going to rerun the thread. If you notice, the graphics really can't keep up with the speed of the threading tool. This is because this has a really old processor in it, and it's not what it's actually doing in the machine. All right, we took another five thousandths off. But let's say it's still a little bit tight, and we need to take off another thou or two. So go to the tool set. It's minus zero, 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 0001. Now we're at minus 17. So we're still in single process. But if you notice this button that says reform. So if we push that, reform, process number four input, it's only going to take one pass, the finished pass of the thread. and then stop. And there's our finished workpiece. We have a lot more videos coming your way, so if you like what you see, go ahead and push that subscribe button and also click the bell to get notified when the videos do come out. Thanks and keep watching.